All right, everybody. I do believe this is probably the last episode of Undertale. <laughs> yeah, here we go. This is pretty much right where we left off. <laughs> This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. We're going to have to fight him again. <laughs> if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you need. Uh, yeah, we'll continue. I see. This is it then. Ready? It's like identical to what we just did. All right. Twilight is shining through the barrier. Seems your journey is finally over. Well, we thought that earlier, but it wasn't. You're filled with determination. <laughs> Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. <clears throat> Uh-oh. <clears throat> oh, it's Toriel. What a miserable creature torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I cannot stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? So for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair. Because you would rather wait here meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I am a miserable creature. But do you think we can at least be friends again? No, Asgore. Asgore, human! Nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends. Or else I'll... I'll... Hello, I'm Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Hey, nobody hurt each other. Oh, are you another friend? I'm Toriel. Hello. Uh, hi. There's two of them? Hey, nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. Hello? Oh, hello. Your Majesty. Psst. Hey, human. Did Asgore shave? Psst. And clone himself? <laughs> hey, guys. What's up? That voice. Hello. I think we may know each other. Oh, hey. I recognize your voice, too. I'm Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait, then. This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie. I can't believe Asgore's clone is who I am. This is the best day of my life. Hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Mm, Snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Come on, Asgore. It's going to be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore. And that's totally right about that fish thing. Sometimes you just got to uh, stop going after furry boss monsters and uh, just get to know a really cute fish. It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh, my God. Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up. Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alphys? Uh, Alphys? No, he's right. 
Let's do it. Well, uh, I guess if you want to, then don't hold anything back. <laughs> Wait! Not in front of the human. Uh, right, sorry. I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you've made, I think, I think you'll be happy here. Hey, that reminds me. Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Now, anyway, if I got here before you, how'd you know how to call everybody? Let's just say a tiny flower helped me. A tiny flower? What? You gotta be kidding me. You idiots! Why well, you got for having your little powwow? I took the human souls. And now not only are those under my power, but all of your friend's souls are gonna be mine too. <laughs> you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. <laughs> huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you just within your reach, and then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. <laughs> Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You. I'll keep you here no matter what. <clears throat> Even if it means killing you one million times. Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. Huh. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human. If you got past me, you can do anything. So don't worry. We're with you all the way. Huh. You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on. This weirdo's got nothing on you. Technically, imposs it's impossible for you to beat him. But somehow, I know you can do it. Human, for the future of humans and monsters. You have to stay determined. Good lord. No! Unbelievable! This can't be happening! You... You... I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine. Oh my goodness. Finally, I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy, Seth, are you there? It's me, your best friend. Azrael Dreamer, oh my god. He's been an evil flower this entire time. It's the end. We can't spare him. Do we dream or do we hope? I think we should probably just hope. You held on to your hopes. You reduced how much damage you'll take this time. Oh, that's good. 
<laughs> it's the end. Look, this is insane. This is blowing me away right now. It's a dream, I guess. You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. What? What is last dream? Oh, it's a... Oh, that is fantastic. So, okay, so what are we going to do here? Hope and dream back and forth? I don't care about destroying this world anymore. So you kept holding on. Damage reduced. After I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. Asriel charges Shocker Breaker. Kept holding on. Damage reduced. All your progress, everyone's memories. I'll bring them all back to zero. Asriel ready Star Blade. I'm just going to keep hoping. Then we can do everything all over again. Alright, we're gonna have to heal up. We have two last dreams left. The dream came true, your HP was maxed out. You know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it. I didn't see what that said. You kept holding on, damage reduced. And then you'll lose to me again. That one's not terrible, it looks worse than it is. Shocker breaker too. Just keep up, you kept holding on. Damage reduced. And again. Kept holding on. Damage reduced. Because you want a happy ending? Oh, this one again. Next we're calling him Chaos Slicer. Kept holding on. Damage reduced. Because you love your friends? Oh, man. I gotta have a crab apple. <laughs> Did you never give up? Alright, we're gonna have to dream again. Is that delicious? Your determination? The power that let you get this far? It's gonna be your downfall. Now enough messing around, it's time to purge this timeline once and for all. God. Ow! The 
even after all this, you're still standing in my way? Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this. can't do anything. I can't even move to get an item. I can only act. Struggle. <laughs> you can't move your body. I was going to say, we're about to die. But now what happens? We don't have to start over, do we? But it refused. Whew. Okay. They're being fairly generous with us here. Can't move your body. Okay. But we have full health now, so maybe we can... Every time you die, your friends forget a little more. Your life will end here in a world where no one remembers you. The whole world is ending. You can't move your body. Still, you're hanging on. That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. Oh, I missed that. Can't move your body. Still? Come on. Show me what good determination... Show me what good your determination is now. The whole world is ending. Yeah, we can't move. Struggle. That's all we can do. Can't move your body. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. Tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But maybe with that little power you have, you can save something else. So we're going to have to save all of our people here, it looks like. You reached out to Avril's soul and called out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something resonating. The lost soul of here. No, I don't want to fight. So we have to. Oh, okay. I see what we have to do here. You asked the lost soul to teach you how to cook. We have to. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you how. We have to... Yeah, okay, I remember. We, we're going to have to... Uh... Yeah, I know what to do. Some humans are okay, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, this is exactly... I, I, I did it right. I can't believe it. The lost souls appeared. Yeah, okay. If, if this top one is Papyrus... Then puzzle, right? For help with the puzzle, yeah. Because he loved his puzzles at the beginning. I must capture human. Just give up, I did. Oh. And then his spaghetti recipe, right? Right? Yes, 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 yes. I think that was right. Damn it. I was supposed to stand there. Maybe I was wrong. I'm a sand. Let's try this. I'll also take a break from fighting with you. 
It nods its head solemnly. Seems like it will. Yes! 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 You're my friend. I can never capture you. No, I'm rooting for you, kid. Oh my god, this is this is wonderful. <sighs> um I guess the Alpha's next. <laughs> Our heart turned yellow now. Encourage, call, nerd out, quiz. A quiz would have been. I, I don't think. Let's just try and courage. You'll tell the lost soul that you'll continue to support her. Something about the way you said that is familiar to her. Yeah. Oh man. We'll nerd out. Yeah, we'll nerd out with Alphas. Or cartoon is, yeah, 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 yeah. This is. And call. Metaton did quizzes. Alpha's called us all the time, right? She starts to sweat. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Yes, man. It. This is phenomenal for starters. This is fun. I love this. Like, it's like, you have to remember things about your friends throughout the game. That they told you or that you experienced things with them or things that you did with them. No, I don't want to fight. Uh, I guess Toriel now. Oh, it's both of them. <laughs> I'm assuming the top one will probably be Torio. She likes hugs. We know that. You hug the lost soul and tell her that you're going to see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. I love this music, too. It's like battle music. <laughs> and preference. Mercy. We, we did Mercy and we talked. But for preference... She was asking, remember, it was the butterscotch and the cinnamon, right? I'm going to click preference. I don't guess it really matters if I picked the wrong one. You tell the lost soul you prefer cinnamon instead of butterscotch. Yes! That was it! So how she faintly recalls hearing this before. No one will leave me again. This is my duty. But we have to do it for both of them. Talk, mercy, stare, hug. Well, we didn't hug. We didn't hug Asgore, and we didn't stare at him. We mercyed him. We talked to him some. I don't even know what to pick. It's just to talk. Tell the lost all that you're going to save everyone. Something stirs deep within him. My lord. Lost soul stand there. Mercy? Tell the lost soul that you won't hurt him, no matter what. Suddenly the memories are flooding back. Yes! Yes! Yes, yeah, someone else. Can we save him? Strangely. As your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul, stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly you realize you reach out and call their name. Huh. What are you doing? Oh my god. There we are, that's where we fell. And there he is. And there they are behind us. You feel your friend's soul resonating with Azrael. No. We can save him. 
What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, I don't need anyone. Stop it, get away from me. Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart. We just gotta keep saving him. Seth, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? This is like Toriel at the beginning. It's not even hurting us now. I'm doing this because you're special, Seth. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. No. That's not just it. I... I'm doing this because I care about you, Seth. I care about you more than anybody else. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. So please, stop doing this. And just let me win. Stop it. Stop it now. <laughs> it's getting bigger. Seth. I'm so alone, Seth. I'm so afraid, Seth. Seth, I'm... I'm... Oh my god, this is nuts, man. I'm so sorry. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Seth? I, I got, my eyes welled up big time during that little cutscene I know you're not actually Seth are you Seth's been gone for a long time no what what is your name Frisk that's a nice name so our name's Frisk <laughs> Frisk I haven't felt like this for a long time as a flower I was soulless I lack the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely knew you, it feels like they all really love you. Ha! Huh. Frisk, I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. Well, forgive. What? Frisk, come on. You're... You're going to make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating at one, as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power, with everyone's determination, it's time for monsters to finally go free. Oh, I love this. <laughs> this is so good. The barrier was destroyed.
frisk. I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So Frisk, it's just, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. Comfort him. Oh, God. This is like just killing me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I, I don't want to let you go. Frisk, you're, you're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk, take care of Mom and Dad for me, okay? Frisk? This is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. <laughs> Look. Oh, you're awake. Thank goodness. We were so worried. It felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made Pyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears! Now, now. The important part is that Frisk is all right. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. How about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though from what... I'm not certain. Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. Uh, but now the barrier is gone. When you're ready, we, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead you there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk. You can say goodbye to all your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We will all wait here for you. I'm going to talk to all of them. Hello, Frisk. I was upgrading my phone. I'm having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh, man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned. And also that she has a, as she's a huge dork. You two are two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. We're texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You're not a dork. You're more of a bonehead. <laughs> wow, those puns are even less funny coming from her. And why are you smiling? It's a pity smile. Chris, Tori was telling me how she made butterscotch pie for you. Oh, I should bake it for everyone sometime. Oh, that sounds really good. Cooking? Can I help? Wait a second. Can I help too? Certainly. It'd be fun to cook together. Second thought, maybe I'll order a pizza. So Asgore, how about making a, making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of the human's quest? They journeyed all that way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard. Truly, this is the worst possible ending. So, Alphys. What do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, of course, I'm going to go out and, um... No, I should be honest. I'm going to stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. That's the spirit. Everyone. A celebration to being losers. <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing to ever happen to me. So I'm glad that we... Huh, what is it? Asgore? Um... 
Fruits and anime. Oh my god. Frist, please help me explain what anime is to Asgore. You see, it's like a cartoon, but... With swords. <laughs> sounds like a cartoon, but with swords? Golly, that sounds neato. Where is this? Where can I see the anime? <laughs> Hold on, I think I have some on my phone. Here, I look at this. Uh, um, that's the, that's the wrong, uh, never mind. <laughs> Golly. Are those two robots kissing? <laughs> Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? Eh, yeah, it sure is. Psst, Frisk, um, you gotta tell me. Do you think Asko and Toriel are uh, ever gonna get back together? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I hope too. I just think about how cute they must have been together. It's quickly becoming my number one ship of all time. <laughs> Tori and Gory. My, my old boss and his ex-wife. Uh, that sounds a lot less cool all of a sudden. Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. <laughs> Asgore, that's not what I meant. It's down here. <laughs> I wonder what's over here now. I'm just kind of dragging this out a little bit because I don't want it to be over. We have to go back up there and go to the right. I'd like to see these coffins down here. Oh, they're all open. The coffin is empty. You didn't notice before, but there's something like mummy wrappings at the bottom of it. All the coffins are open now. follow you out of the underground. No, I'm ready. <clears throat> there we are. Oh my. Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow, it's even better than on TV way better than I ever imagined. Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sam. What's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowie. I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun. I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Well, of course. Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador! And I, the great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. I'll go make a good first impression. Well, someone's got to keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Man, ah, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! Hey, Undyne, wait up! Whoops. Uh, 
Should I do something? Well, gotta go. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk, you came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I want to stay with you. What? Frisk? You really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose if you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. All right. Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us. Fantastic. My god. Absolutely fantastic. Am I supposed to hit X? No, okay, never mind. I didn't hit anything. Frog it by Toby. Wimson by Toby. Professional frog. Braver every day. Mold small. Looks slightly bully like. Found a new cave. Vegetoid. Oh, those must have been the ones I ran away from. <laughs> Maybe. I'm not sure. I don't know why the others were yellow. No, maybe, maybe that is what it was. I ran away from some of them and then spared some of them. Papyrus. My Toby and Timmy. Sans. My Toby. <laughs> Special inspiration. Snow Drake, Ice Cap, Gift Trot, Doggo. <laughs> I, I don't have enough good things to say about this game. I mean, one, thank you, Ambrose, for suggesting me play it. It's been quite a long time, and I don't even remember that ending. I, I mean, I don't remember any of that happening. This was just a fantastic experience. I'm so glad. <laughs> I knew at the end of that first part, it's like... It's like, God, there's got to be more to this than just him saying, you know, do a pacifist ride. There was definitely more to it. That was fantastic. That was beautiful, really. God, I I was getting choked up there during that Asriel part with a little cutscene. And he was, I was like, oh my God, this is so sad. And we're trying to save him. It's like, come on, we're here for you. But, you know, it is what it is. I don't even know what else to say. I mean, it was funny. I always heard this game was heavily inspired by Earthbound. And we, uh, it's probably on the channel by now, maybe. But Ambrose and I did a playthrough of Earthbound. And God bless, you can definitely tell the inspiration that Toby Fox pulled from Earthbound. In like the best way possible. I mean, the characters are just fantastic. All the characters in this game are great the RPG elements, the fact that you can go through this game and not hurt a single soul or you can just play through it normal or whatever but I, I agree with Ambrose he's like, you know, he said I really, really, really think you should try to go through and do the pacifist run don't, don't kill anybody spare everyone, run away, or do whatever and I agree wow, that that, that was Absolutely the best ending I think you could get. <laughs> I feel like that that was fantastic. It was wonderful. I loved it. I don't I, mean, I don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm like at a loss at a loss for words. It was so good. Now we're sitting here and watch all this though. I guess here's a way to speed it up. <laughs> Gonna have us a long finale here. The last episode is a long finale. Isn't that what everybody wants, right? Asgore. He's making a papyrus thing. There's the little monster kid. I hadn't seen him in forever. Um. Toriel by Toby. You know, of course everybody wants a long finale. 
I'm watching. If I'm watching something, I want the last episode to be a little longer. It's like you can enjoy it just a little more. I think that's what I did here. I wanted to enjoy this just a little more. We're not going to end it. We're going to keep it going. The end. <laughs> did you really think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. Hmm, our HP is infinite. Are we sparing all these names? I will say I think my favorite area in the game was Snowden. The music was fantastic, the scenery was fantastic, it was just all of it was beautiful. And I liked all the rest of it, but no, Snowden was something else. And I did like Waterfalls, it'll just chill music there in that first area with the uh, little, where the turtle was had his shop and all the little houses and stuff. Man, that was like such a chill little theme. But I did like Snowden. I mean, Snowden was, Snowden was my favorite. Man, these credits are insane. These are the special things. <laughs> Soon. I don't even know that we have to move. credits <laughs> thanks to friends and family for supporting us and undertale team thanks you the player from the bottom of our hearts without you all of this would be impossible good night i did play this on the ps4 it's on just about everything i believe <laughs> No, you speak of under speak of earthbound. This is some heavy earthbound vibes right here. Some very heavy earthbound earthbound vibes. At the end of the game you're in your room like this. I love this. Is that it? The end. Man. I mean, there's nothing else I can say about it. It was so good. I mean, it, it was fantastic. One of one of the best games I've ever played. Bar none. I don't know where I would put it. Probably in the top ten, for sure. I would put this in, in my top ten. Me and Ambrose need to do a revised top ten. And this is in there. And along with some other stuff, probably. But, you know, I always said the top ten can change. This is in my top ten, for sure. not let me do anything here I'm hitting x and okay there we go <laughs> so it kept saying the end that's all it was saying and so I turned it off, turned it back on just to see, because I mean, I could do nothing, X, nothing, no button was working. And when I started the game back up, this is what it said. Hi. Seems as if everyone is perfectly happy. Monsters have returned to the surface. Peace and prosperity will rule across the land. Take a deep breath. There's nothing left to worry about. 
Well, there is one thing. One last threat. One being with the power to erase everything. Everything everyone's worked so hard for. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? That's right. I'm talking about you. You still have the power to reset everything. Toriel, Sans, Asgore, Alphys, Papyrus, Undyne. If you so choose. Everyone will be ripped from this timeline and sent back before all this ever happened. Nobody will remember nobody will remember anything. You'll be able to do whatever you want. That power. I know that power. That's the power you were fighting to stop, wasn't it? The power that I wanted to use, but now the idea of resetting everything, I I don't think I could do it all again. Not after that. So please, just let them go. Let Frisk be happy. Let Frisk live their life. But if I can't change your mind, if you do end up erasing everything, you have to erase my memories too. I'm sorry. You've probably heard this a hundred times already, haven't you? Well, that's all. See you later, Seth. Why would I want to erase any of that? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to erase any of that. <laughs> There's the true reset. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> We're going to leave it how it is. Why would I ever want to erase what I've done there? <laughs> it's not going to happen. Oh, me. Thank you again so much for watching.